The first canonization mass on U.S. soil celebrated at the National Shrine is now just weeks away. Suzanne LaFranchi has the story of three Polish nuns who are busy making sure that celebration will be seamless. Deep within the basilica, inside the inner sacristy, loving hands are doing God's work. These nuns are sewing, ironing, and cleaning 300 vestments. They'll be worn by 260 bishops who will come celebrate mass with Pope Francis later this month. When the bishops will be, you know, uh, dressed in this, I, I will think that I did this. For the past decade, the Sister Servants of Mary Immaculate have prepared the Basilica's six daily masses. The sisters say from now on they will be working seven days a week, 12 hours a day to prepare for the Papal Mass. They say they love their work. It is their vocation. It has to be clean, has to be iron, has to be for the Lord. Sister Lydia personally helped Pope Benedict prepare for a prayer service here, where he spoke to U.S. bishops in 2008. I mean, that was awesome. You, you can't even express the, you know, the, the feeling, how it was to, 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 make, to meet somebody, you know, like, like Pope. Sister Bernadette met St. John Paul II twice. And he gave a blessing, and he was holding my hand. He made a cross on my cheek. Forehead. And in three weeks, maybe a new papal blessing will be another small reward for their five decades of service. At the National Shrine, Suzanne LaFranchi, EWTN News Nightly.